Welcome to Stillworks and Brewing. My name is Randy and this is a channel that's all about home distillation and brewing. So what do we got going on today? Okay, today what we're going to do is kind of a, a recap, a redo, whatever. We are going to make a fresh pumpkin with brown sugar whiskey. You don't want to miss this. We're going to start from roasting the pumpkin and we'll go to the end. Uh, there is something that you could really do to help us out a lot and that is hit that subscribe button down there. It is very important to us creators. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so let's get this uh, pumpkin opened up. It, I didn't weigh it. Away. It's a 20, 26 pound pumpkin. So I should have plenty of pumpkin to use. Probably going to need to make some pumpkin pies. Okay, so what we're going to do, let me move the camera down so you can see. Uh -oh. Cut the top off. Let's stab it myself. Probably been a lot easier with a smaller pump. <laughs> Alright, we'll get the seeds out of here. They're good for roasting. Collect all them up. Try to get all the inside out. Okay, so we just want to put a little bit of, I'm going to use uh, olive oil. Just a little bit on there. Just kind of, just kind of coat everything. Okay, so we got olive oil put on all the flesh, and we got some parchment paper here on a cookie sheet, and we'll just turn this upside down. I can only do half of this pumpkin at a time. Okay, so got the oven set to uh, 375, and it should take about an hour and it will all soften up. So let's get this stuff in the oven and then we'll be back. Okay, so let's get our first half pumpkin out of the oven. Ooh. You can see she's pretty soft. A lot of difference. I'm gonna put this one in. It took about an hour and 15 minutes to roast that. So I'm gonna let it cool for a couple minutes and then we'll get the inside out. I'll put it in a bowl and then uh, we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so let's flip this over. Ooh, real soft. This will be the fun part. very hot set and what we'll do is we'll scoop out all the good pumpkin and then we'll, we'll let it cool down for a little while and then we'll run through a food processor and make a puree and then we'll be ready to start making our pumpkin whiskey okay so let me get this done and then we'll be back Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this the pumpkin through a food processor 
to make a good puree, puree out of it. And then uh, what I need is four pounds. Four pounds to uh, make our whiskey. Then, put this in here. There's five pounds. So that should be good for our whiskey that we're gonna make. And remember, that was a 26 or 27 pound pumpkin. And half of it gave me five pound per ray. Okay, so we got this done. Our next step will be to move on. Let's make this whiskey. Okay, so we got our pumpkin prepared. So now we're going to uh, mash in our grain. So I got uh, 165, 66 degree water in my brew pot there. So I'm going to pump me over uh, right close to three gallons. So I'm going to strike in my grains at about 165 and then uh, we'll stir in our grains and then we'll mash those in. I'm hoping for about 155 to 150, you know, 53 degrees for, for about an hour and 15 minutes or so. Okay. Go ahead and get the uh, grab a pair of scissors. I got 12 pounds of two row here. Get this mixed in. So it'll start looking like oatmeal. I had to put a little bit more water in there. So I think it was about two and a half gallons. Alright, that's the two row. pounds of Munich dark. This is the same recipe that I've used, base recipe that I've used for apple uh, whiskey. Well first it started off with my pumpkin ale and it always turned out so well and I've done it with pumpkin whiskey and apple whiskey and it all turns out so well. So I just use this as my base uh, recipe. And then I got one pound of Crystal 80. Okay. Mm. 
me show you what that looks like. Kind of looks like oatmeal, don't it? Okay. Let me double check my temperature and then uh, we're going to let that uh, mash in for about an hour, 15 minutes. Okay, I added, uh, I guess, about a half a gallon of good hot water. I need to boost the temperature up just a little bit. And so what we got? Uh, we're looking at 153. That is 100% perfect. Okay, so what I'm going to do. Is let's put a cover on that. Put a cover on that, and we're going to wait about an hour and 15 minutes, and then uh, that should be all mashed in, and then we'll move on to the next process. Um, so, see you in an hour and 15. Okay, so it's been about an hour and 15 minutes. Uh, Let's do a, an iodine test, make sure that our conversion took place to get a little bit of liquid. I use a little, uh, like a white dish, it, it just makes it a lot easier to see. Okay. Okay, so we got our sample there. You see that? Put a couple drops in there. Give it a little shake. It goes right back to the natural color. Uh, if it was still starch present, you'd see it turn black. Okay, so let's start on our next. Uh... Okay, so I star sand my uh, fermentation bucket. Here is our fresh pumpkin puree. Oh, the smell of that is fantastic. All right, that's five pounds worth. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to batch sparge our uh, grain here. So we'll sparge your grain out until we collect up six gallons. And we'll take a, uh, a specific gravity reading. And then uh, what we'll do is we'll add brown sugar to bring it up to about, I like to have, get about 1.80 or so. All right, let me put some water in the mash tun. I'm sparging with about, uh, about 170 degree water. So let me get this done and then I'll be back. Okay, so let's check our I'm just about to six gallons. Let's check our specific gravity so far. And we are looking at 
just about six out. All right, so I'm gonna, at this time, I'm gonna add a little bit of my brown sugar in. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get me boosted up to about one, about 185 is what I'm aiming at. All right, there's two pounds. So my mash is still warm. So uh, the sugar melted pretty pretty easily. So let's see what that got us. Okay, that got us to 0.075. I think I'm gonna put one more two pounds in there. Get that stirred in. So, what we'll do is we'll ferment this out. Then when we go to distill it, uh, we will uh, put this, the apple, the uh, pie spices into the vapor trail. That'd be a different video though. All right, let's see what we got now. at 1.085 I'm gonna leave it right there it might be 1.086 actually okay so what we need to do next is we're gonna take a uh, pH reading let's see what we got Five point eight seven So it's best round right being five point six five point seven. All right, so what I'm gonna do to get that to drop down just a little bit, we'll just put in a little bit of citric acid. Got some here somewhere. It don't take very much. I'm gonna try a quarter quarter teaspoon first. I can always bring it. Uh, back up if I had to, but I really take my time to do it right the first time. All right, let's see where we're at now. But right, yeah, there it is. Four, 5.4. And it stayed right 5.4. So let's just go. Just a little bit more. About another quarter, quarter of a teaspoon. Like I said, that stuff does go a long ways. That's citric acid.
Well, I'm aiming for 5.2. 5.22. 5.26. It's bouncing right around 5.256. 5.26. I'm going to leave it right there. You rinse this off. Okay, so the next thing is I'm going to put some, uh, it's one teaspoon per gallon, so I'm going to put uh, six teaspoons of yeast nutrient, if I can get it open. So this, this is a half a teaspoon, so what did I say I needed? Because that's only a half a teaspoon, so I have to put 12 half to make six, okay? So we'll give that a good stir. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'll put this in my fermentation room, let it cool down to about 90 degrees, and we'll pitch our yeast. I'm going to put that on there. And I'll put that in my fermentation room. It's about 127 degrees now, so I'll just let her cool down. And probably later on today, we'll add the yeast into it. Okay? So this... Okay, to give you a quick recap of our fresh pumpkin and brown sugar uh, whiskey. Okay, the first thing we did is we took a, a BAP, a big ass pumpkin, and we roasted it in the oven for, it was an hour and 15 minutes at, 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 at 375 degrees. And then we took and scooped out the uh, soft pumpkin and put it into a food processor and made a puree out of it, okay? So then the next thing we did is we mash in our grains. We uh, took the puree, put it into a sanitized fermenter. Uh, we sparged our grains. We spar uh, we uh, mashed in our grains for about an hour and 15 minutes. We did a, a starch test, found out that it did did the conversion. We sparged it over into our fermenter, and then uh, we checked our specific gravity. Okay, it was about 165, and so what we did is we added our brown sugar. We added four pounds of brown sugar, and that boosted up to about 181.086, somewhere in that neighborhood. Uh, we have six gallon mash. We put it in the fermentation room. We're gonna let it cool down to uh, 90 or a little bit below 90. Well, let me back up. We checked our pH. We adjusted it with a little bit of, it was actually one teaspoon of citric acid brought our pH down to uh, 5.2 something. And so we left it there. We added in some yeast nutrient, mixed that all together. And then we put it into our ferment, fermentation room and we're gonna let it cool down about 90 degrees, a little bit, a little bit lower than that. And we'll add in three tablespoons of uh, daddy's yeast and it should take about a week to 10 days to ferment out. And then our next step will be to distill it. All right, this is, go this is fun. I love pumpkin whiskey. Uh, it's one of my favorites. Uh, we just had a taste of it a few weeks ago and it, it, it was a year old and it was oh, out of this world. Okay, so I think that's about it for today. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time.